Hey, Brianna, I'll be right back. I just need to get a drink and I'm going to be right back. Hello. Sorry about the wait. I started a stream and immediately needed something to drink in a bio break. But hello. Uh, how's the laptop? I'm okay. Was just watching uh, Neil's stream. And it was very cute because... Uh, he wound up raiding a member of the community that had literally just been talking about uh, being worried about getting back to streaming. Hey, Pens. You're so welcome. Okay. Oh, good. Oh, Shadowheart has no potions. Good job, me. I'm in a new area of the monastery that I've never been in before. I have no idea what's going to happen. Nice. Oh, I'm glad. I'm so glad it's working Ready out for you. Gail in these slots, man. I swapped out Lazel because I did the crash. Careful, I bite. Um. Take you. Take you. I need you to heal yourself, friend. Uh, and it was someone who literally today was just like, I don't know about streaming Thank again. You. If I want to. Okay, this is all new. I have no idea where I'm at. Who refused to talk to you? Nothing but get Yankee bones left in this armor. Shame. Wow, Astarian. All right, this whole thing with this eagle, I'm like, where did you come from? Where? Okay, I am so confused, y'all. Oh, so here's an interesting thing. This save did not give me the mismatch error. I was very confused by that. 
But I'm not at a point where I've unlocked kissing with anyone. So... I don't know if the kiss animation is still broken. Hey, Ferwick. I think the... Also, why are there eagles here? Why are there eagles? Excuse me? Why, why are there eagles? Shit. I don't have... Uh, I don't have to speak with animals on. All I can think of is the old commercial with I've got something for the you. Eagle seems satisfied, but keeps a watchful eye on you. Oh, it is all it is. It is uh absolutely modding hours here. Here we go. You can pass, but you're not to talk to me. Gross. <gasps> oh, rude. Intruder in my nest. This area was meant to be safe. Xavier, get behind mummy. You would accuse me of a crime in my own home. Outrageous. Well, I guess we fightin'. Shit. Rose spurred anyone? Sorry, Starian. Sorry. Well, Cry for help. Oh, no, absolutely not. Ready for this. I pushed a bird. My will protect me. I pushed a bird, y'all. Call all the friends you want, bird. It won't save you. I. Gail, really? I... Certainly. Glorious! Feb is bloody everywhere, mate! Feels good to be home in my nest. I wish there was something I could give you in return. Oh, tell you what. When I escaped the eagles, I spotted something buried near that ferry dock. Might be worth a look. That's mine now. I can't believe we just, like, fought a fucking eagle. 
for a ceremonial hammer. What a weapon! Wonder if it was used against the Githyanki. Oh my god, Gail, you are a literal bloody mess. Wow. Oh, that's the weapon that killed me earlier. So, fun fact. I tried to get the blood of Lathander. Let's see here. And um, I just... I just grab the uh, the mace. That was a bad idea. Well, I was trying to get the line of I was right there. Oh wait, this is literally where I just was. No, I didn't. The game said you died. Game was just straight up like, nah, you died, bro. And you can't go that way. So I'm not sure what fairy the Blue Jay is referring to, unless it's now on the map. Oh, there it is. I tried to hightail it. What I discovered is I should not have turned off uh, turn mode. Yes, please. I was like, oh, I'll just cheat and teleport out. So cheaters never prosper. And uh, yeah. Got a violin. Wow, that's what the Blue Jay gave me. Thanks. I need two more ceremonial weapons. Because apparently <laughs> there is a, um, a puzzle at the top of the monastery. And I fucked up. So I was very lost. I had never been in this place before. North Rosy Morn Monastery. I was misspelling it the whole time. Well, I think as long as the person who grabbed Lothander's mace gets out, then you can just resurrect your party, and that's how you get that line with the star in. <sighs> A little souvenir. I did not get out at all. So the blood of Lathander is uh, is there. 
And apparently, if you solve this puzzle, you can deactivate it. Um, Gail, why are you so filthy? Oh, that's better. Oh, I've been this way, okay. So this is not my darkest timeline. This is the, this is the Astarian branch where I am somehow romancing Carlac. Yo, missed that last time. None of you have loot, how dare. I was surprised at how well it actually worked. Sure. Okay, but why do we sound like it was the worst hardship? Hmm. Walk in the way of dawn, for Lathander cannot protect you where the light doth not reach. I don't know how this happened, honestly, but I'm here for it. I'm about to be encumbered, watch. Okay. Oh, I don't think there's anything else that way. Camera, I need you to chill. I think you'd be a dope, Carlac. We've had some close calls already. Oh. There could be even tougher days ahead. It's Elminster, and we... Cheer up. It might be all downhill from here. It's Elminster, and we don't have Gale in the Things will start becoming oh, easier the for us. <gasps> Hi, pirate. Or our situation will deteriorate from here. Uh, I'm still in Act exactly. 1, by the way. So, if you're worried about spoilers, I'm still in Act 1 on this playthrough. Who <laughs> there, Wanderer? Stay thy course a moment to indulge an old man. Elminster? The very same, Gale. And a fair bit miffed he is, too. Finding himself forced to expose his best pair of Boots to so many miles of country road. How's your Sunday been? Your behalf. I'm sorry, what? Meet Elminster Ormar. A good friend of yes, mine, but rather more significantly, he's the most famed and respected wizard in he the world. He has a surname? Am I indeed? Most famed and respected errand boy, more like. I was bid to spare neither time nor my own self to find you. Hey, Chris. She sent me, Gail. Man, fuck, you know Mistra. Of whom I speak. Yeah, oh, I said it. Out with it, Elminster. Please. Young man, has your sojourn away from Waterdeep washed away your decorum as well as your patience? Yes. My Ten day I've gone without honest fare. Oh my Worthy god. Of the name drank naught, but what the sky entitled my thirst. Why, some bread, cheese, and a cup of wine would appear you got to me, me there. a feast. You got Surely me there. You begrudge me a mat of rest and repast before I get wow. out with it. Wow. I meant fuck, Mistra. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hey, fair. I gotta fix that. I thought... Hold, please. There we go. That is going to startle the absolute shit out of me. Hey, Lazarum, how are you? Oh, 
And oh. what is he then? Wow. One of these forlorn barons over 700 miles from home. Wow. Oh, for the love of. Uh, oh my god. This way then? Hmm. Interesting. Cap? Oh, don't dawdle now, lad. I don't get a surname if I don't ask. Such a frightful hurry. Oh, nigh on 13 centuries old and he still thinks with his stomach. We'd best follow and see if he's more disposed to speak plainly once it's stopped its grumbling. Sure. A wise choice. Better to indulge your curiosity than Elminster's appetite. How are you, sir? Mm, yes, what a delightful wedge of old as I do like how promise. annoyed Gail gets, though. Doesn't do to parlay on an empty stomach, you know. Who are you it's talking to? I'm over here. Frivolous when they should be grave. Plenty to digest, after all. A good deal to <laughs> stew over, if you will. Oh, God, is she Words Chris. ladled with import should be savored so it's as you. to better absorb their meaning. It's Wouldn't you, you agree? Alminster. Uh, right. Um, you see, <laughs> I am. Um, well, that is to say, sort of. Gail, my boy. I've come to address a most pressing matter. I'll speak as plainly as I can, forswearing the accustomed frills that decorate my speech. I'm here. Does she have to do an Elminster cosplay now? Mistra. The message and the charge I bring you are hers. So. For roleplay reasons, number four fits the most. However, I kind of want to pick one. I'm going to go with four because that's more of an Astarian answer. It does, but I've always. <sighs> you know where you went wrong, Gail. No, we needn't dwell on that here and now. Yes, we do. I need to know. But even so. I'm nosy. You're to be given a chance of redemption. Mistra would consider forgiveness. Well. She would consider what she considers to be well. forgiveness. Mistra is aware of the misadventures that have befallen you both. She knows of your strife. I didn't tweet that I'm lying. the absolute, that most insidious of evils. You know what? I'm never going to bother with a tweet. Alas, the creature that afflicts you, the ill-begotten magic that it weaves, is inextricably conjoined with both the greater purpose and the greater master that it serves. You must know that the absolute is more dangerous than you can possibly conceive. It threatens all who live, even those who are undying. It threatens the gods, the weave, the very fabric of the universe itself. Oh, that's a lot. That is why I have come here to charge you, Gail, with its destruction. I'm sorry, it what? It is Mistress belief that only you can. Yeah. Hey, cat. No worries. I decided last minute to stream. It, we, I'm already feeling the, it's so late and it's not even seven. That which I speak of as Gale well knows is neither idle nor false. Rather it is mm, unnatural. The all. Precisely. 
Mistra has granted me the power okay. to stop the clock, as it were, on the orb's rush to overpower you. Instead, you will be able to is it unleash him? its lethal combustion at will. Interesting. This could be help or hindrance. We shall have to see. You must find the heart of the absolute, whatever that may be, and use yourself as the uh, catalyst that will burn it from this world. He is not. But it seems that Mr. Amad. is. It brings me no pleasure saying this, my friend. But such is Mistra's will. Yours must be the sacrifice that will undo the absolute. And for your sacrifice, you will be redeemed. Such is Mistra's promise. With that, I've said my sorry piece. I need only bestow unto thee Get the, fuck the charm out of my camp. I was bid. My it is done. Both charge and charm have been committed into your care. To you, I commit into care Gale himself. I count on you to shepherd him well on this strangest of journeys. I'm sorry, what? Nor would I expect you to. <coughs> it's too bleak a task to demand of anyone. Like moons make swell and wane the nescient seas, so too the sky-strewn gods ordain the tidal fates of mortal days. And yet, a notion born in lonely hours. Come, ebb, come, flow. Come, all that is beyond the breadth of our dominion. Be a moon unto yourself. Even the waves of fate can break upon the shores of will. Farewell, my friend. Are you my Farewell, friend, Farewell, Elminster. I'm glad she chose you. I'm sorry, what? So this is... This just kind of fucks with me. That, I feel like that's more glad it ain't me. An audience with Elminster is never less than memorable. I'd have hoped to introduce you to him in less dire circumstances. But... Those are hard to come by these days. Hey, sure. It's not a demand he wanted to make of me. As mistress chosen, he had no choice but to deliver her message. However much it pained him to do so. For Mistra to have sent him. The severity of her bidding could not be clearer. Or weigh more heavily on me. Time seems so infinite when you're young. A month is an age. A year is a lifetime. It is a strange feeling to realize how little of it one might have left. Of course, we offer the clearest solution to our problem. All I have to do is find the right place and time, close my eyes, <coughs> and let go. Then the slate will be clean. Wrongs will be righted. The absolute will be gone. And I along with it. You're welcome, Ignis. If there was, I'm sure the goddess of magic and the greatest wizard who ever lived would have identified it. No problem, Chris. But alas, only one solution is offered. That remains ahead of us for now. The heart of the Absolute must be discovered before I can stop its beating. Let's save such certainty for the moment such a decision is upon us. You may feel differently once we know what we're truly up against. 
So question for the chat, for those that have gotten this far, how do you feel about this? I, I feel a weird way about the, especially with the state of the world right now, a I feel very talk. weird about... Why is this dude's body Keep in our- moving, stranger. What? Quietly. Uh, hold on. We're in, we're in camp. Hi, Kelly. Uh, I'm sorry, what? No! Scratch was in camp, introduced himself. I told, I told you, you to, to go. go. You know my name. Interesting. You told a me predator your name. wouldn't care to learn it. Still, you should go. My friend is injured. He needs rest. Of course he will. And then we'll return home. We were attacked. We're cackling furry things on two legs. And their smell. It was strange, rotten, evil. You know the creatures he describes. Gnolls. Ah. Uh. No, I won't leave him. You're in my camp. If it comes to that, I may. Thank you. Okay, there's weird and there's that shit. Yeah, I know. I checked already. I've been checking before I logged in. A shame my first brush with the famed Elminster couldn't be a tad more optimistic. Listen, I might invoke the triad from time to time, appeal to Helm, but I'm no man of faith, not like Gail. I don't know what drives a man to consider his own death among countless others to be an appropriate exchange for his goddess's forgiveness. To me, it all sounds like nonsense. The faith You're that matters most horns, is that buddy. which you hold in yourself, in the ones that most matter to you. Big bomb be damned. Gale's got everything he needs to defeat the absolute already. Talent, nerve, and powerful allies at his side. I hope he'll come to see that. Nope, I checked for updates this morning before I started playing. What is what you got? Fate spins along as it should. Dost thou require a new ally? Or no idea. perhaps a resurrection instead? Hey, Halson. Hey, buddy. You wish to speak? Oh, was that Gail's granddad? Oh. Wonder if he's a wizard too. He's certainly got the beardliness for it. Why'd he come all this way to track us down? <laughs> Whoa now, he's got a... Well, I guess that would explain a little, but... Mistra. I've got two separate. I mean, I've got this two is a lot to take in. Going. What's he going to do? Well, tell him to pick the right one. Well, better yet, I'll do it. <sighs> Fucking wizards, man! <laughs> they always need help picking the simple, obvious option. If Mistra can't think of another way to stop the Absolute than sacrificing Gale, she's no god worth worshiping. I'll say that to Gail in, you know, gentle terms. 
So, my Astarian run, I split into two. The terrible no good run where I slaughtered everyone in the Druid Grove is the one I've been streaming. But today, I was watching streams and kind of just doing other stuff as I zoned out. And I got to a part that I'd never seen, so I said, fuck it, I'm going to stream. Oh, you'd never heard Carlac. Interesting. That's right, because you haven't found her. So when you see Carlac and then you see a picture of Sam, you might go, all of that came out of her or them. And so after we got Carlac and Will sprouted horns, that same night, she came to Astarian and wanted to talk, and we learned about how uh, I'm sorry, pirate. Well, you have to make a choice for that to happen. I made a choice. Um, where was I going with this? Yeah, but Carla came and talked and wanted to just talk about basically not being able to touch anyone. And I was like, YOLO, fuck it, because it works. But I had a save before that where I was like, I don't know where this is going. I Oh, I've got with Gail. <clears throat> and I also want to recruit Minthar, and I figured playing as a Starian is probably the Unless I play another Dark Urge and go real dark real quick. I slaughtered everyone in the Druid Grove and recruited Minthara. And then she reversed cowgirl his ass. And I was like, oh, oh, okay, cool. That, that happened. Where would you start? You give me chills, baby. No mean feet at my temperature. Gods, we better find a way to cool me off soon. I'm not sure how much more of this I can take. Why is Carlac hurt? Well, I want to basically have a Carlac Halston sandwich. Um. I don't know why I'm going to this mirror. I can't do anything. Elminster. Even the Githyanki have heard tell of the Hi, Sage Google. of Shadowdale. Some of his works have been translated to Tirsu. That doesn't yeah, no. mean his every word carries wisdom, however. Near as I can tell, Mistra demands Gale's faith, but holds no faith in him. Why else would she demand Gale sacrifice himself and perhaps so many others? Does she not think he can destroy uh. the Absolute with his own immense talents? Does she not know the mighty company that he keeps? Demanding Vlakith may be, but she acts for the good of the Githyanki people. Oh, Lizzo. Mistress concerned only for herself. Oh, <sighs> perhaps he'd find forgiveness in a fiery death. But I can't help but wonder why he'd want it at all. I got nothing. Shadowheart, you in this fucking helm. You're in the party. I can't believe Mistra actually expects Scale to just sacrifice himself like that. Seems like a waste of a fine mind. I mean, whether or not, no matter how Astarian feels about Gale, he does make a comment about it being a waste of a perfectly good Gale. Always a delight to speak with you. What can I do? Hey, Puddle. Uh, you'd have to go back and see the VOD, because I did... I think I streamed that part. 
She expects those who seek to use the weave to do so honestly and with respect for its potential to destroy as well as its potential to save. I doubt she's asked many of her followers to blow themselves up. That's a fate she's bequeathed exclusively to me. She wouldn't ask such a thing if it weren't our only means of survival. However much she's annoyed at me. Bro, she wants you to off yourself in a massive explosion. That's more than annoyance. I've no doubt she has the power to do so, but as for the permission, AO would not look kindly on her meddling in mortal affairs. Uh... Divine intervention has a tendency to make things worse, not better. As for Elminster, he saved the realms more times than legend can recount. Pirate. To take on a god is no easy feat, even for him. My orb is the best chance we have. Are you sure, Gail? Are you sure? And only sure? I can wield it. Oh, you know me, never the optimist. I'm trying to focus on the positives. Truth is, I was living on borrowed time already. Consuming those items would only have kept the orb sated for so long. If anything, I feel more at peace than I have in months. At least now I know my death will have purpose. It won't be a distant bang in the footnotes of history. Wow. Well, shit. Do you feel that? The darkness pulling at the strands of the weave. You'll still be able to do your wizard thing, though, right? Of course. That doesn't make the shadows less dangerous. Joy. Yay, beeps appeased. All right, all right. Let's go in the Shadowlands, because I know I can come back as long as I don't go into... Oh no, I guess I can't. I take that back. Oh shit, what do I have left to do? The blood of Lathander. All right, I guess we're going. I guess if I leave, I can't get back. Well, shit. I didn't know that. No banquets in sight with this pantry, that's for sure. Well, just for lulls, I'm going to go back to the the place of Lathander. Yo, hey Carlac. Well, well, well. I need you to not take that. Nor that. Oh, I can. All right. Well, let me make sure. I, make sure I'm going to the right place. Ooh. Toast, toast. I don't know what that means. Ooh. Yes, please. Grilled miniature space hamster. Well, shit. everyone always just sound like they're struggling so bad all right well let's see what's this way because this is another way to moonrise towers because 
skills useless ass cannot uh can't use a bow he can only use a light crossbow and i'm like why keep a blade close also i don't know why starry step at a time only has 45 hit points oh oh i know where we are yeah i'm not going that way Look, this game likes to cut you off. Oh, I know where we are now. Oh. Aha, now I know where I'm at. What are we here? There's apparently a puzzle you can solve to get the legendary weapons and get the cog or whatever it is. And, uh. What's in here? Lock picking impossible. I had a key to this fucking door. Really? I actually, I had a key to the door. I quit, I had a key to the door. Let's hope for gold. Is the enemy of my enemy my friend? Or do the Gith only have enemies? Well, ask Lazelle, you're the one that's with her. <laughs> All right, this is getting confusing, I think. We're going to take the mountain pass. Because my other, my other playthrough has been Thara that I did stream. Um, I was very surprised by the scene, lack of scene when you uh, are a Starian. Excuse me. I just want a whole circle. I mean, the Drider is a giant spider, basically. Oh, the rabbit didn't have anything. I know the way that they warn you as you are headed out it makes you feel like you're about to 
not be able to come back. What the? Why do... <sighs> Go on. If he doesn't wait, I'll find you. My what? Yeah. Supreme Kithrak, has Vlakith sent you to slay me with your own blade? I've not come to kill you, Lazel. I've come to aid you. Don't trust him. Skakak Kir Gith Shabeleth. My blade rests. Mother Gith compels you to listen. Speak. My ear is yours. I know you carry the astral prism, Lazel. Within it lies the seed of Vlakith's demise, and I intend to help you bring it to fruition. Vlakith's demise? Shkaketh! I should run you through for suggesting it. It is not. I've heard word from Kresh Yulik. You are infected. Yet the one in the prism has chosen you. Wow. Protects you with their power. The prism's tenant alone has the power to end Vlakith's tyranny. I've sought their freedom for eons. When the prism went missing, I feared the worst. Instead, you've granted the opportunity I've so long awaited. All that remains is the key that unchains them. And I've found someone who I believe can provide it. Bring the prism to Baldur's Gate. I'll be waiting in a taproom called Shares's Caress. That is where we decide the fate of my people. Lazel. Together we will break our chains and be Vlakith slaves no longer. I am no slave, just still Kithrak. The Undying Queen is my freedom. It is she oh, who will Lizelle. purify me and she who will ascend me. Lies, Lazel. Every Man, last one. Want there is no the purification, no ascension. The Zaith Isk does not purify, it extracts memory and kills the infected. Nor does the Lich Queen glorify the Ascended. She feeds on most all of them to grow her power and pursue godhood. Madness! You flood me with this... this heresy! I... I will hear no more of it. I served Vlakith the whole of my life. Learned her words, fought her battles, yet she names me her Sharlak. Your words carry truth. I will meet you in Baldur's Gate. Do not make me regret it. Lazel. I see Talakma gear in you, sister in freedom. Together we will be our people's light. Take this. It is a Quanith, a psionic detector. The Queen's warriors hunt you. The Quanith will sound you out when you come near their portals. Hear its cry and prepare for battle or slip away. I should go. Vlakith's gaze pierces the seas and skies. She believes me loyal, and I can't afford her mistrust. Keep the astral prism close. Let no one take it from you. Slay any who try. Now to Baldur's Gate. I'll be waiting, Lazel.
I was absolutely about to shank that dude. Now can I get a good night's sleep, please? Oh, who wants to talk to me? Holmes? Uh, Lazel. Hey, Leaf. Vlakith costs seven hroth crash hat. Only in Vlakith may we find light. These were the first words I ever read on Tirsu Slate. But they are no mere aphorism. They are law. They are creed. The root from which the 10,000 protocols stem. Forsake one protocol and forsake Vlakith. Forsake Vlakith and be the blood and meat which sates her dragons. If Vos speaks true, if Ascension is a lie, if Tadpole Purification is a fairy tale, then I have not sinned against Vlakith. She has sinned against me. I'm gonna go... <clears throat> I'm gonna go with sleep. I would never thought Vlakith a tyrant or me as a vassal. She was the source of my might, and I the envoy of her will. A warrior, a champion, a destroyer. But if Vos is right, and Vlakith consumes the Ascended to gain power, then I am no destroyer. I am mere livestock, bred to be harvested and devoured. Every Githyanki is a slave with a singular purpose. Not to cull the Geich, not to prevent their grand design, but to raise Vlakith to true godhood. I don't know. I can't know. And that drives me mad. At first, I thought them an illithid deception, a trick of the tadpole. But the dream figure is real. It lives in the prism. Vos believes they are the seed of Vlakith's demise and the agent of Githyanki freedom. And I believe he may be right. Hmm. Ascension is a young Githyanki's greatest honor. Long ago, the Geich enslaved my people. They dominated our minds and bred us for war, until Great Mother Gith took a hammer to our bonds. From the day of our hatching, young Gith have one purpose, to train hard enough to slay a Geich and take its head. Then, we speak the rite of ascension, and a red dragon comes to fly us to Vlakith, in Tunarath, city of death. We are honored with an eternal home in the astral, Celebrated for our victory, we are ascended. Or so I believed. Hmm. Then, when the Kithraki come for me, and come they will, I will submit to their blades. They would feed me to their dragons, and I would deserve no better. Yes. I'd like time to think. We'll meet Kithrak Vos at Charesis Caress in Baldur's Gate. Until then, be vigilant. Vlakith's eyes are upon us. Hmm. Alright, now will the game let me go to sleep, please? Okay, it's gonna sound weird, but I'm going to get up and stretch and go get some water. Cause, uh. <gasps> Damien!
I'm in. Hello. I guess I'm not getting up to stretch. Hello, hello. Welcome on in, everybody. What are y'all up to? Thanks, Skywalker. Hello, hello, y'all. Welcome on in. What was Damien doing? Welcome on in. Hello. Ah. Thank you. Thank you for the raid. Can I get a shout out for Damien? Thank you. Oof. Wow, my back is trying to kill me. That's no ordinary darkness. It feels powerful and familiar. Stay on your guard. Oh, thank you for the gift sub. Yes, it is the graceful cloth, but with Vanta black dye. Ah, uh, are you the true soul? Welcome on in, everybody. Oh my God, this is the weirdest answer, but okay. Uh, I'll take that as a yes. Listen up, grab a torch, stay out of the dark, and move fast. The shadows have eyes. Go on. Sure. Are there torches? Are there torches in this box? Uh, yes, this is an Astarian run. I don't have a single torch on me. Good job. I can have one torch. this game go into turn-based mode? What the hell? Sir. Uh, okay. Come on, let's go. Sorry, I am very confused by the fact that Gail ha cl very clearly has ma'am No worries, Anya. Thank you so much. Again, thank you all for the raid for coming in. We're just having a low-key evening. Damn, it's good to be alive. I just wonder why nobody has a torch. Uh, Shadowheart, why are you not carrying a torch? Witching blades always shop. Really? No rest for the wicked, I see. Gail had an extra. I think. Why? Why are none of you carrying torches? No, I don't want to venture for it. Why do I have friend, buddy. Sorry, I'm very lost all of a sudden. 
Oh yeah, what are you doing on your Astarian run? Torch. Aha! Alright, everyone has a torch until we get until we get the one we need. I've never come into the Shadowlands this way. Same. Well, on my other run, I'm Romancing Gale. I this can run. Feel the shadows' power here, but they don't seem to be harming me. Um. The Shadow Curse. It doesn't seem to affect me like it does others. Not as badly, at least. Do you know what this means? I must be blessed. Lady Shah is protecting me where others are left to face her wrath. Is it blood she weave ours? She must do. Lady Shah wouldn't bless me like this for no reason. There must be something she wants of me. Those signs we found about Dark Justicias. Oh, did you? Perhaps they Kelly? were no coincidence. In either case, I need to watch for any place dedicated to Lady Shah. Oh uh, shit, temple, you're right. Perhaps. It's fine, Katie Lady. It's totally fine. Thank you. Um, I forgot about daylight. What am I to do? Oh, this only counts for the area it's in. Well, shit. This place. There's a power in these shadows. I... Well, hell. Yes, casting daylight on the vampire, that's great. Keep your distance, darling. Go. Looks like it succumbed to the curse before it died. I bet it was hell to kill. Wow, Star and wow. Yeah, I've never gone to the Shadow Curse lands this way. I've always gone the other way. Interesting. Oh dear. Well, that's death. When everyone stick together. If you get lost, you'll die in the Shadowlands. Oh, this is a new way to come into the Shadowlands. A pile of belongings, forsaken to the curse so that their owners could escape with their lives. Huh. Okay. So may I me a French blossom. You, ain't. you know what's out here as well as I do. 
Oh darn, we should go this way. Note to self, do not click on any ravens you see. Ah, the charter. Church every day, my queen. Your followers. Yeah, no. A legion. I've done that before. Your faith will stand ready, Majesty. Soon we march. Soon the world will bow to you. Here, where boss? Something moved up there. Want me to drag it out? The Dryder's eyes cut through the darkness, locking on you as your parasite squirms with excitement. Your minds connect, and you hear a voice whispering to you. The Absolute, or just the echoes of his fractured mind reverberating in the darkness. I'm one of your true hey, songs, my queen. No worries, thanks for coming. they in. survived? No, I'm not clicking on the ravens. The blue. There is but one god, and she is will... absolute. Well, shit. Here we go. The blue thing in a starian's bar. We'll tell you in a minute. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, no sanctuary for you. You really rolled up on me, really? Fuck. Gail does not have. Well. Uh, it's because of the mod I've got. Hold on. I'm looking for a potion of speed. Nope, it's just, it's just the modded, uh, thing that I've got. Ooh, disadvantage. Yes, the white wizard is in use. Yeah. 
Oh, you want to rage? Cool, cool. Guess what? I can rage too. Oh, I'm on shot shot hard. Gamer Ash, how are you? Welcome on in, everybody. Uh, we are in the shed. We just went to Shadowlands. Hi, hi. Uh, Adequate Gamer Ash has just returned to streaming. So, if you could do me a favor and give them a follow, that would be really dope. Hello, Raiders. How was the rest of your stream? Uh, how long until your That's alerts nice. stop going off after Neil raided you? Hello. Yes, uh, please give Ash a follow. They just come back to streaming. Uh, wow, I absolutely missed. Good job, me. Ah, yes, the moon went. Let's finish this fight first. Carlac, you. You need to get this lantern. Get over here, Star. I don't know if you saw my reply to you with all of the chaos of Neil's rating you, but I'm very glad you decided to stream today. But welcome everyone from Ash's community, also Neil's community, because we're both in Neil Nirvana's Discord. And uh, welcome to the shenaniganry. This is a low key Sunday night stream. I found new places and I decided YOLO, fuck it. I'm going to uh wanna dance. Uh hopefully that actually Now does that let me carry the lantern? Or I forget, do I have to actually equip it? Hey, that's right. There we go. Now everyone else can carry a weapon again. Nah, I don't think so.
that's fine. I. What's next? I wonder. Elminster's not around, so it might as well. I uh. Ooh. Yeah, we're not. We're not taking the the broken tree call. Uh, one second. I'd love to, thanks. Me, oh my, oh my, oh me. I didn't even see that fair, thank you. I might do it on my other run, but I also want to survive the Shadowlands. Here's Moonrise. Here's Moonrise. Here's Moonrise. Oh no, I don't want to hear myself. At all. I keep forgetting that the space bar unmutes you. you. I did not want to hear my own voice. Let's crack it open. I, I think I got it covered, unless I crit fail. It's just gold. The, the pixie screams at you like the whole game if you don't let her out. And I know why I've never let the pixie out. I would like to survive. Cause she calls you what, a munting asshole. Won't you help me? Set me free. No. So let's chat about this while I get lost in the Shadowlands. A lot of people have said I could never do a an evil run of this game. A quick rummage. To which I say you help me? Set me free. I can and here's why. My personal morals are not reflected by choices I make in a video game. Oh no, the tea flames. Well, they put up a struggle. In vain. Well, I've just I've seen that refrain from people where they absolutely could not. Won't you help me? Set me free. Um, they feel they could not do an evil run. Oh no, so many dead tieflings. Well, shit. Well, and it's not even judging, it's the people who just said flat out, I can't do an evil run. I'm like, okay, cool. Oh shit, it's the last slide in and I don't have anyone to vouch for me. So you see that raven? We're not clicking on it because then I'll have 20 ravens to fight. And I just don't want that right now. This is tainted by the shadows, no doubt. Best avoided.
Now, if anyone wants to judge other people on what they do... Stay together. Keep to the light. Okay, why are we looking Stop. like we're about Who's to sneak that? up on her? Also, why is this tree moving like this? You're a chatty shadow. I'll give you that. Come out into the light. Hands high. <laughs> You're about to be roast, dude. Jonas, move in. Oh, Jonas. Even Jonas is like, I don't want to go in there. Jonas! Jonas! I'm here! Where are you? Jonas! Can you see our torches? She talks randomly the whole time, anything. fair. Even when you're done with this, if you still have the Moon Lantern in your inventory, she still keeps going. Follow my voice. Come back to the light. Who's there? I kind of want the Harper. Armor. Oh, I didn't get that screenshot I wanted. Well. Jonas? Oh, Jonas. That is the fastest transformation. There you are. Come. Join me. Jonas. Rip Jonas. Harpers, you heard the man. Two arms. Oi. Wait, weren't we in combat just a minute ago? What? Miscusey the fuck? Wait, what? Oh, now we're in combat. Pirate. Oh. I almost use your whole government name. I'm not your last name. Cuz pirate. I don't even know how to fight. <laughs> what fools these mortals be. Let's 
Sorry, Jonas. Oh, the clicking noise. Yeah, exactly. Tactical. <coughs> Excuse me. Well done. Now we've got to move. I know a safe place. Give me your map. All right, sleep. Well, I'm so glad you got a raid from Neil and that your Keep your torch high. streaming was great. If you step into the shadows, you'll be found again. In the please give Ash a follow. <coughs> Excuse me. That's right. Protected by magic. Only spot in the region that's not been swallowed up by this damn curse. Light will save you here on the outskirts, but a few paces deeper, you're screwed. If you want to catch your breath, the inn's the only place to do it. Hope to see you there. Harpers, move out! Kelly, that is certainly a look for Shadowheart. How's your work day going, Kat? Don't mind if I do. Quite thrilling to fight off such grim creatures as oh, this Jesus region throws Gale, at us. Are you about to confess your love? Especially for me? being at your side. I'm sorry. What? I um once read a book. Excuse me. That explained in some detail the effect a brush with danger has on one's desire for Gale. Uh, other forms of stimulation. Gale. Have you ever read anything on that subject? I'm trying to bang Carlac, and you are monogamous as a piece of balsa wood. This is why I started the fanfic I did, and I need to get back to it. I don't know what to say. Also, the way that Carlac is staring at me right now. He looks like he's trying to really, really think about how to respond to this. Wow, pirate. Wow. She's looking at him like, what are you going to say? Oh, I hate that show. Uh, 
Oh, I see what you mean. Oh god, what do we say? <sighs> We're all garlic right now. Uh, Kelly, calm down. I'm just like, where do I go with this? So the thing is, Carlag is is DTF for Polly. You have? Oh, then I might suggest Kale, we. You are covered in blood. I have no sense in letting valuable first-hand experience go to waste. Yes. After all, perhaps it's just the thrill of our near undead experience talking. <laughs> Standing at your side through such darkness sorry, and disrepair. What? It only makes me want you more. Unfortunately, this is neither the time nor the place to indulge such feelings. So, we must be patient and push all such thoughts aside. For now. Excuse me? anything else you wish to discuss? I... You had the exclamation mark. Y'all... Yes, please. I... I... Sir... Dread likely. I... Oh my god, stop whining. You're a pixie, you're not to be trusted. <sighs> this place is heavy. And she's like, help me, you're a pixie. for want of a nail. <sighs> Luckily, I didn't talk to Liliana that much. Into my pocket. See, this is why I left her ass in the lamp. All right, have good dinner. Thanks for hanging out. All right, there's uh, nothing over here. Good job, me. Help, help. I'm about to put you in a chasm. Cause you are 200% annoying the fuck out of me. Wait, is this the way? I hate this. I've gone backwards. It could have changed with an update, but she she was always chatty. To the point where I'm like, I'm going to throw you outside. I like I'm gonna put you in a fucking chasm. Would you help me? Set me free.
Oh, I forgot to ask Ash if they got their... I did send them the clip. But for fun, before I close this tab... Uh, by the time you... Get to where you get this lamp. That's good. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't need to be here. Let's see. Oh my god, Kelly, please. You gave me the ring first, you married me. And what's funny is I think the ring is like literally right in front of me. Oh god, that means wait, so never mind, that would be weird even for me. me, set me free? I did, you are correct. I did take that ring knowing exactly who you are. Oh, I was just going to be Watch weird, but it was also probably going to be weird for Sorry. fair. I was like, well, if you married me, does that mean as a bonus, I'm also married to fair? Since you're technically voice twins, but that's weird. Fair is like, why do I ever talk to you? Oh, had I come this way, I would have had torches. So this is normally where you run into Elminster. But since I'm doing things entirely ass backwards. What's in here? So when you come in from the Underdark, I've run into him right here before you actually go into the Shadow Curse lands. And you know what? I meant to take that stretch like an hour ago, and then we got raids back to back. Very well then. The way that I've come up, I've always run into Elminster right there. Uh, well, that's the way I normally go in the Shadowlands. But uh, I'm going to leave you to stare at this well-appointed group while I get a quick bio. And uh, get some water. Mods, you have the helm. I shall be right back.
You help me, set me free. Is the uh, pixie still being a pixie? All right, I'm back. I have water. I took a lap. Hey, Tuck. Rando question because this made me, it made me think of it when I was in the UK. Is it a UK thing to say sparkling versus still? Because I feel like being offered sparkling water is not a thing here. Interesting. Yeah, I just, I never feel like I'm offered sparkling water anywhere, but in the UK. Yeah, I just wondered, because now that I'm... Now that I'm back home, my brain was like, Won't you help me? Set me free. I don't remember being offered. Specifically sparkling water. Oh, really, Tuck? Oh my god, why am I standing on that to see what's in it? Yeah, I just wondered because it occurred to me as I was over there, it will always be a giant bottle of like, God, what is sparkling water these days? 
This place is protected. Must be the refuge the Harpers spoke of. I'm just seeing what's over here before we actually go into the, into the area. Because Damon is there and we need... All of you failed your perception check? All of you? Jesus. Oh, it's a trap. It's a trap. I mean, I would like to hear hot water as a default. Did I get, I got rid of. Well, seeing as how I just confessed my love to Astarian. Oh, I don't want to shoot Astarian, that'd be rude. Won't you help me? No, shut up. Jesus Christ. Oh, fireball's not working. Shit. Oh no! Well, shit. I hit it with the moon lantern! <laughs> I almost hit the wrong button. No a shadow heart. I'm gonna need what? You really just take you. Lovely little pack me up. Tarion must not have that feat. Because there's a feat that will give you all your HP back on short rest.
Oh, that was a save? Jesus. Oh, that was a good thing I did, uh, advantage. I forgot that's what was in there. Won't you help me? Set me free. All right, we're going to get to, uh, the last slide in. for a good meal. I don't remember these being so difficult to navigate last time. Oh, someone asked about the blue thing in Astarian's bar. It's from a mod. <sighs> Excuse me. Oh, that's not where I was trying to go. So what's, what do people have going on? Keep your hands off your weapons. Easy. She's with me. Come. 
Excuse me. Jahira. I should try Dead by Daylight again. I didn't enjoy it when I tried it the last time. Anything different? You have me at a disadvantage. Let me correct that. I'll be the judge of that. Ah. Uh. This is why we're here, you see. It is a curious creature that hides all manner of secrets. Nice. But if there's one I thing get that back we to my know, it's that it knows its own kind. You should never have come here, true soul. who protected the Emerald Grove. Yep. Didn't leave a goblin standing. Not so bad to hang around with either. Saved one of my friends from a druid with a snake. Knows when to be discreet too. I'd pretty much trust her with my life. A true soul with a mind of her own? How is that possible? in the hells is that thing I'll not pretend to understand what that artifact is but I'm old and wise enough to recognize a sliver of hope when it crawls out well, of the well about that tell me why have you come here honestly I was lost then our interests align we must all cure ourselves of the entire cult of the Absolute. There's food in the inn over there. Beds, too, if you require rest. Elo oil in the cupboard, in case the vines gave you a rash. Settle in. Then come join me for a drink. You may just be the godsend we've been praying for. Salmon might be knocking around here, right? Too dark Watch to tell. Your back. There. I bet they're close. Watching us. Oh my god, soldier. That's Jahira. The, the Jahira. Jahira. Okay, now Gail's staring at me like this. Y'all. You see the way that Gail is staring at us? Don't you know the whole story? Years ago, over a century, Jahira was part of a group that saved Baldur's Gate from Saravok, a ball sport trying to plunge the city into war. My mum used to tell us stories about them. The legends who protected the city from evil. She said Jahira was a powerful druid. Adamant. Tough. I've told myself those stories a thousand times since. I never thought I'd meet Jahira. She's a hero, and I was always... some outer city kid. Can't believe she wants to talk to us about working together. What a day! Oh, damn it. 
What you got, buddy? Hey, Melissa. Not the same cow I saw at the Druid's Grove. Won't you help me? Is it? Set me free. Karlak! I thought you'd be in the city by now. We were ambushed by cultists. Half of us were captured, the other half ran here. Off the anvil into the forge. We'll find them. Hopefully. Before you run off into the belly of the beast, there's something that I need to tell you. Well, two things. Good news and bad news. The good news, obviously. I only need one more piece of infernal iron to craft an insulating chamber that can make it possible for Karlik to... Touch people! Exactly! Oh my god. It's really happening. It's been so long. We've got the iron. Let's do this thing! Hang on! I think you'll want to hear the bad news too. Yeah, sure. But first, fix me. Please. Hmm. Fine. Well, go on then. I don't enjoy saying this, Karlak. But there's no two ways about it. Your engine is going to blow, and I can't fix it. I'm not sure anyone can. It's simply too hot to exist here in the material plane. Unless you return to Avernus, for good, this thing is going to blow. Sooner rather than later. But... But still, you, you can give me something that'll let me touch again, right? Safely. Yes, but... That's all I need to know. Do it. Hmm. Well, all right, it shouldn't take long. Same as last time. You'll need to install it yourself. This should do the trick. There. So did it... work? Only one way to find out. He has to reach up to hug her. Can we go to bed now? <laughs> Hold on, Karlak. There's something I need to tell you. That engine of yours. It's contained for the moment, but it's just too hot to exist here in the material plane indefinitely. I know you know that, but the thing is, there's a cure. I wasn't making any headway with the mechanics, none at all. The environment here is just too cold to sustain metals like the ones inside you. You have to return to Avernus. For good. Or this thing is going to burn you up from the inside out. And sooner than you think. The minute I set foot back in Avernus, Zarya will force me back into service. I'm not doing her bidding again. I'd rather die. 
I get that, but don't rule it out. The world just might be better with you in it. Even in Avernus. I won't stop trying to figure out a cure. But... At this point... I think we all have to face the inevitable. Hmm. Yeah. Apart from the doom and gloom, you've given me more than I could ever hope to repay. It's been my pleasure. Good luck. Both of you. Look after yourself, all right? Hmm. Is there a ship name for Astarian and Karlak yet? This is the best day. The best day. Me too. Hey now. Whenever you want to turn in, I'd love to take this whole touch thing for a test drive. I know we have important things to do, but we deserve a little sweetness too. Oh man, I can't wait. Look, it's been 10 years. I know what the strange ox is. Hmm. No, incapable. Excuse. Not for you to know. This is going to be freaking, just you all know. Are you satisfied? Keep quiet, and you won't have to find out. That's up to you. Good little hero. Do you like our new friend? He's new. Okay, then. All right, we are going to uh, get our smooch on with Carlac. And then I may call it. Yeah. Jahira wants to know about supplies. Will we make it up? Because I have not gotten this scene. Because I've never. Hope you're keeping well, friend. S Scratch. You, um. Scratch, what we doing? I'm confused about the doggo. Oh, hi.
Incredible. Like I'm really alive. Like we can finally be real. I can be close to you now without fear, without thinking too hard. We can just be. I was hoping you'd say that. Well, okay then, I guess we go into sleep. All right. You got distracted by mushrooms. Hey now, what the fuck? What do you want? Excuse Play me. Playtime's over, pet. Excuse me? Oh, I love this time of year. The dickheads start popping up wherever you look. What do you want, Mizora? Drop the attitude and perk up your ears. You've got a new mission. Absolute's cult has gone and grabbed one of Zariel's assets. A devil. And a powerful one at that. They're locked up in the cult's fortress, Moonrise Towers. And you're getting him out. <clears throat> Clause Z, Section 13. Should promised soul refuse obeyance or neglect duty, the wow. cult holder shall cast the promised into a vernus as a lemur. I'll make it simple. Will fails or refuses, and he turns to a thick blob of stink flesh and sinks to a vernus. Now, be a good boy and play fetch, pup. Or you'll spend an eternity sizzling in the hells. Mizora's words may be flippant, but they are tinged with desperation. She cannot afford for Will to fail this mission. This may be your best chance to negotiate Will out of his pact. Oh, and what condition is that? Your mind links with Wills, drawn in by his increasing panic. What are you doing? Will relaxes, and your connection fades. Interesting. Now, why should I go letting my favorite pet off his leash? Well, shit. Incredible. You actually think you hold the winning hand. Fine. I'll play your game. But I amend the pact once the mission's done. Not before. Clause F, Section 9. Soulbinder shall bestow reward or favor only upon soul bearer's fulfillment of related obligation. Now, to Moonrise, pet. And do mind the shadows. They've been especially hungry. Oh my god, who wants to talk to me now? Jesus fuck. God damn it! Why did it have to be Mizora? Why did it have to be Zariel? We're supposed to risk our necks to get one of her assets. What if it's a <laughs> runaway like me? Or something far worse? I want to believe that as much as you do. Almost as much as Will does. But I just know there will be more to the story. 
There always is. It's a bad idea to play games with the devil. You'd never win. Not ever. Right now, can I go to sleep, please? Or... Gail, you are sparking. Oh, Will wants to talk to me, great. The more bullshit she pours, the more of it I'm forced to swallow. Mazora set me on fiends inside and outside the hells. She's never ordered a rescue. Gods. She makes a mockery of everything the blade stands for. Such an asshole. <laughs> the same thought crossed my mind. I'm only to hunt the infernal, the demonic, and the heartless. But nowhere was it stated that I can't help one. Either we find it, or I made a mindless blob clawing at demons on the front line of the blood war. And it means everything to me. I always knew what my future held. And I know I chose right. <clears throat> Thank you for sticking your neck out for me. I mean it. But I'm not going to celebrate till I'm actually free. I can feel Mazora scheming, plotting. She won't let me go without making a fuss. Trust me on that. The shadow curse is upon us, as foul as I remember it, perhaps even worse. But with the Oak Father's blessing, we may soon see it banished from these lands. It's not easy seeing the ravages of the shadow curse, but your camp is a most welcome solace. You've shared your fire with me, your company. A small pocket of light against the darkness. But one I couldn't do without. Thank you. Hmm. I can think of a thing or two. But in truth, it is for the best that the curse consumes my thoughts for now. This is the best chance I've had in a century. I cannot squander it. But... If I succeed, if oh. I break the curse, then perhaps there will be time for myself again. And for others. Well, now. This land is more than just soil and rock, root and leaf. Uh. It is a living being in the form of a young fey boy with the forest itself in his eyes. His name is Thaniel. I've met him in my meditations, but since the curse was unleashed, I have not felt his presence. He is its prisoner, I fear. And as long as he remains so, his domain will lie in darkness. But if we can find him, we can break the curse. If you learn anything of the shadow fell, or of a boy with the forest in his eyes, find me at once. I can't be exact, unfortunately. Time and the Shadow Curse won't have been kind to any traces that would have been left behind. A living witness is unlikely, I'll admit. But perhaps there'll be an unliving witness, or some lingering echo of what we seek. Don't worry. If you find something, you will know it. That's way more dialogue than I got before. Gail, friend, I'm sorry, we're just not talking to you. We're going to bed so that Carlette can ruin us. Oh my the god. The voice of the absolute is strong here. What the fuck is this? And getting stronger. I don't know how much longer I can resist it. 
but it's good to see you're making progress. <sighs> you took an unexpected route here. You did a brave thing, saving those people in the grove. Right? Not everyone would have helped. The hurt runs deeper than he's willing to show you. It just doesn't stop. We are being bombarded by waves of telepathic energy. Wave after wave with hardly a breath between them. I almost dare not rest. Each wave, a set of orders to the infected. The order for your transformation has been given many times already. Yes. But the orders are oddly erratic. As if the Absolute cannot make up its mind. Hey, Ogilvy. I don't fully understand. In any case... The Absolute knows you carry me with you now. It wants to retrieve me. I am the only one who can resist the Absolute's influence. Hence its fear of me. It's... It's desperation. Unfortunately, that also means it is dedicating more and more resources to my retrieval. The task ahead is monumental. But where all that stands between Thanks. victory for the absolute and freedom for all. This is not just about you and I anymore. It has become far bigger than us. You must infiltrate Moonrise Towers, discover the secrets of the absolute and put an end to it. So we can finally be free. Now, I must rest. And you must carry on. What is it? Do not let my efforts be in vain. Gail, you are still <sighs> sp Wait, what? Why are y'all cock-blocking me? I, I was trying to get my Carlac on. Won't you help me? Set me free. What are you thinking about? Listen, I'm never going back. If you said I could die right now or live a thousand years in the hells, I'd choose to go out now with my freedom intact. The... I don't expect anyone to understand that. But I've been dealt a hand most people don't have to contemplate playing. <sighs> Thanks, soldier. Your support means I've got one less thing to worry about. <laughs> that means a lot to me. You really are the best of the best. Of the best. Oh, hi. The fuck? Yeah. All right, let's go back to the last slide in. Whatever I expected to find you hear about the cars. Can we make it home? Burning so, through our oil, but it's a glimmer of hope about doom. It's the dark. Just darkness. about. Just about. That's one way Shouldn't of looking at it. Stock up while you can. I only hope I've brought enough to see us through. Lovely day this. For now. Hmm. I wonder what the next move is.
Okay, Karlak might need those. What is... Yeah, Starion needs those. Trying to see if there's anything else I need. All right, I think that's it. Take care now. It ain't pretty, but it can take a beating. It'll need to. Cleric's magic won't hold out the darkness forever. How it goes, DC? What are you. What have you been up to? Oh, it's Mattis. Welcome to our humble... Wait, are you Karlak? A lot of us were in Avernus. We saw you fighting. You were so good. Well, I, uh... Yeah, I guess I was. I mean, you should avoid fighting for devils if you can. But if you can't, it helps to have a good right hook. I saw you lay out a more demon in two hits. Bam, bam. We were all like, whoa. How'd you learn to fight like that? <laughs> Had to. Life didn't pull any punches. It was up to me to learn to take a hit and deal one back. I've been tossed around a lot too. Uh, I want to learn how to fight back too. From the look of things, you've got your wits about you. A clever mind and a bit of style will take you a long way. Fight with those, and you may find you never need to use your fists at all. In that case, want to buy a lucky ring I found? Ha! Ah! Nice try, Shorty. Keep it up, though, and you'll be scamming with the greats in no time.
Hmm. Sorry, soldier, but I didn't ask for your two coppers. The advice I give a teeth kid from the coast Ow. is between me and them. Mm. Don't be shy. Check it out. We've gone legitimate, and Mole put mm. me in charge. What do you need? Hmm. I'm not supposed to mention it to anyone. But I do have something pretty special in stock. A key. What does it look like? What does it open? What treasures await behind its lock? That's for one lucky buyer to find out. Maul gave it to me and said I shouldn't let it go to just any old jack a day. Don't worry. It isn't leaving my sight. Mm. Premium trinkets and doodars. Don't wander far. We need to talk. Yep, and you can wait till tomorrow, Jahira. I am, uh... Suddenly hit by a headache. So I'm going to call it a night. And see who's on that we can pass the raid log on to. Last light's best bargains right here. Oh, Chanel's still on. Let's go raid Corda Girl oh, Chan. Let me make sure. Uh, she's at the end of. Zelda. Thanks. It's just hopefully I can stretch out and get rid of it. Don't be shy. Have a gander at the finest stock. Oh, help. Help. All right, let's go see what Chanel's doing. Uh, and depending on when I get up tomorrow, I may stream before work. Otherwise, it'll be after. Because um, I don't want to overlap other folks. And I've got to catch up with work. Because being gone to extra days really put me behind. So, Premium see you all later. Doodars.